Well, now that the Super Bowl is finished, we can go back and sort of look back on the year that was. and reflection. some of the This is the reflection point yeah. of the year. I love it. So, hey, there were some amazing performances, single-game performances here. We're going to count down five to one of the best. So let's start with number five. Cameron Wake against the uh, the Titans in week six. He had four tackles and four sacks in that game. Well, and this was such a dominant performance, too, especially as a defensive end. You look at this list here and you look at Cameron Wake and what he did. What was impressive, he did all of this in the first half. Four sacks in the first half. Now, get this. He finished Four the season. Four sacks in the second quarter. All right, right. I mean, and, and so when you look at what he did, finished up with seven sacks. He did all of his production, really, or the majority of it here against the Tennessee Titans. He's an unstoppable force on that defensive line. And coming into the game, he only had one tackle. That was a huge game for him. How about number four, David Johnson against the Eagles? He had three touchdowns. Well, you know, this to me wasn't a big surprise when you look at what he did in week 15 because you, you saw what he did in the beginning of the season when he had his opportunity to shine. He got out there, he did some things, and then he had his chance just to be that guy. And 29 attempts, 187 yards, I mean, it was a, a masterful performance by Dave Johnson. He's so big and he's so physical and it makes you think that this is the running back for the future sure. for the Arizona Cards. That was the night that the Cards clinched the division too. Yes, Prime time Sunday night football. How about number three? We just saw it. Von Miller against the Panthers. Well, I mean, yeah, I mean, you and I were there. I uh -huh. mean, we sat right next to each other and we watched this, this performance and of course I predicted that he was going to be the MVP. And, and you predicted correctly. And, and he played like the MVP. He was just so hard to stop his explosiveness but even him out in coverage. And this is stuff that People don't really talk about that. This guy is a versatile defensive end, outside linebacker, Von Miller. I mean, he deserved it. I love, too, he Instagrammed a Panthers team picture, just Photoshopped with all the crying Michael Jordan cases, too. He, he couldn't help himself. He had to go there. Number two, Antonio Brown against the Raiders. Antonio Brown had 17 catches in this game. I, well, that, you know why he had 17 catches in the game? Because he was targeted 23 times. What? He was the entire passing offense for the Pittsburgh Steelers in this game against the Oakland Raiders. And, of course, the Oakland Raiders made, I mean, a huge leap this year as far as productivity. But they can, there was no answer for Antonio Brown. Can you legitimately stop Antonio Brown? No, not when Big Ben is throwing him the ball. And, of course, that game, we know he had 284 uh, receiving yards, mm -hmm. maybe the 8-4 for the jersey on his, num uh, on his back. <laughs> but uh, regardless, Antonio Brown is the man. Yeah, he set franchise records in catches, receiving yards, and targets that day. Huge day for him. Number one performance, though, Khalil Mack versus the Broncos. That's my dog. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that's, that. Five that, 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 sacks. That's that Mack truck thing. I didn't. I couldn't really get the beep, beep Wow, in there. we're going to workshop but, it. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll do that. But, <laughs> I mean, this was an unstoppable game. I watched this game, and I thought that he was going to break a DT's record, uh, Derek Thomas' record. Uh -huh for the most sacks in the game, but he was just a one-man wrecking crew coming off that edge. You saw him use that one arm to come inside, I mean, bull rush, and he's a power rusher, and that's what they have. But I say that the biggest improvement is them bringing in Jethro Franklin, that defensive line coach, uh, who's changed the game, ta taught him how to rush effectively, using his tools to make him that guy. Five sacks in the game wow. against the Broncos. Yeah, that was he impressive. tied Howie Long's record. He did. I mean, that was amazing. Yeah. Poor Michael Schofield. That was the game <laughs> that it was really, that was a bad game for him. Well, those were some awesome performances. Uh, we're going to have to wait basically an entire offseason now for more single game performances. Gonna, but I think we're going to be okay, right? I think we're going to be, but I did miss that, that Mac attack. It, they, Mac they, attack. They, the Mac I attack love it. They deserve to be number one. All right. Thanks, Akbar.